Hello everyone, this is Game Theory for Business Analytics and the first lecture of the course, which is about the non-cooperative approach to game. This lecture consists of four small videos, including this one. And in this video, first we will see what a strategic situation is and what a game is with the prisoner's dilemma maybe the most famous game in game theory. We are going to discuss what dominant strategy is and what dominated strategy is. You are also going to see how a non-cooperative game is described by a payoff matrix. To begin with, let's think about a model for decision making. Of course, real problems are complicated, but some simplified models might be helpful for a better decision. Many decision-making problems are models as an optimization problem like this. In such an optimization problem, you are going to choose a choice variable x to maximize your objective, which is a function of uh, um, your action. Of course, this your objective function also depends on some other variables which you cannot control. Now, let's think about a little bit more complicated situation, so called a strategic situation. In a strategic situation, the outcome or the objective depends not only on your own action, but also on others' action. For instance, when you buy a bread in a large grocery shop, it is not a strategic situation assuming there are lots of stocks and the price is fixed. But if you are buy an artwork or antique in auction, you can win only when your bid is higher than others' bid. So your outcome in such a situation depends on other bidder's action. So this is a strategic situation. In such a strategic situations, you do not know what your opponent will play. That is what we call strategic uncertainty. Furthermore, what your opponent will play also depends on what you are going to play which again depends on your opponent's action and so on, that is about strategic interactions. In a mathematical form, you can choose x1 only, but both x1 and x2, which x2 depends on x2 chosen by your opponent. So both x1 and x2 determine your outcome. So we need to solve two optimization problems simultaneously. A game is a formal way of describing such a strategic situations. And a game theory is a mathematical tool for analyzing strategic situations. Game theory is typically divided into two different approaches. One is non-cooperative uh, approach and the other one is uh, cooperative approach. A non-cooperative game consists of those components, the players, and each player has some possible actions. And then each combination of a player's action is a particular outcome. And each player has preference over those outcomes. Also, information, what the players know when they act, is also important. So we will see the other approach, cooperative game theory, in the next lecture. Non-cooperative game focuses on positive aspects of a game, that is what play, players will play. On the other hand, 
cooperative game focuses on normative axioms or desirable properties of outcomes without explicitly defining players' actions. Okay, now let's start with our first game, Prisoner's Dilemma. Maybe the most famous game in the literature, and maybe most of you already heard about this. Its combination of actions specifies an outcome, and players may have different preference over the outcome. As I mentioned earlier, the main question of a cooperative game is what will happen or what they will play. So that's the positive aspect of a game. Of course, your opponent choose cooperate. You can also choose to cooperate for a good outcome. But if you choose the defect, then you will get the best outcome. So comparing cooperate and defect, defect is better because best is better than good. So you may want to choose defect for best one instead of cooperate for good one. Now, suppose your opponent chooses defect If you choose to cooperate, then the outcome is uh, worst. So you may want to choose the defect for bad outcome, which is still better than the worst one. So you may want to choose defect. So no matter what your opponent chooses, you should choose the defect, but on the one condition, if you are rational. In game theory, a player is said to be rational if they make a decision to maximize their own payoff. Now we introduce concepts of a dominant strategy and a dominated strategy. Strategy A dominates strategy B if choosing A always gives a better outcome than choosing B, no matter what the other players do. So in the prisoner's dilemma situation, defect dominates cooperate. And strategy A is dominant strategy if strategy A dominates any other strategy. So in the prisoner's dilemma situation, defect is a dominant strategy where cooperate is a dominated strategy. A rational player plays a dominant strategy but not a dominated strategy. Preferences are usually represented by numbers, which is called the payoff. So this uh, low player Player A cares her own payoff appears in um, left in each outcome, while the column player is looking at his own payoffs here in the right of uh, um, each cell. Okay, so this is uh, the end of uh, uh, video one. And please do this uh, quiz before moving to the next video. It will be discussed in later.